Hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm still celebrating and drinking for getting 100 subscribers, and I'm answering viewer comments. So I got this one right here from my man who saw a video and had, you know, wasn't even part of the video, but this clip came up. And who's the father? And he asked me, how did this move happen with the three boxes and the three pictures, and how did this happen, right? So the first thing I'll say is that this... This three box picture was already made. These are TIFF images. These are TIF files with an alpha channel. All right, so this is a clip that I'll cut this in here. It, right, it's just three boxes with an alpha channel. But what did I do to make it move? Well, number one, on, on, on video layer one, I had this background that I made in After Effects, and then I have this clip. Now, if I just put this clip right over it right nothing would happen but if you go into effect mode you can promote this with this uh, 3d button down here and promote this into a 3d mat key they call it um, in which case all of these parameters are able to be set so what did I change here on these parameters on this one I have three keyframes Number one is I took the scaling all the way down to zero. So it comes flying out from basically nowhere in the center and it lands here. And here's one of my tips at eight frames. I think anything that moves forward, backwards, off the side of the screen, out of the side of the screen from nowhere, I like eight frames. That's sort of my number. And now, obviously what really helps is this sound effect down here, always. Uh, any movement with anything, you need to get addicted to sound effects. They add just an incredible amount to anything. But, so at eight frames, so what's happening here, the scaling now is at 92. And it's still moving, right? You never want anything to get static when you're, whenever you're dealing with, with images or anything like that. You'll understand why in a second why this last keyframe is cut off, but it's still growing. And one of the cool things about this image, which I think is a great tip, I got it from an awesome editor named Rizzo of like 10 years ago, but I still do it, is the rotation of the x-axis is moving. So let me see if I can move it right now right now you don't want it to go too far either way you want it to be subtle but in this case it's it started at 10 comes up at 10 and it's now it's slowly getting to zero so it's sort of like a card that's moving forward and also moving on that x-axis I don't know facing more towards the front I think it's just a cool look you can use this with any logo with any picture this build from nowhere with the X rotation growing a little bit and becoming more I don't know what you want to call it flat even with the screen right so one really cool thing with Avid is I made this move right this is really cool and say I love this and I do love this and I use this all the time and this is like sort of the branded look that I have for these images now one thing I can do is let me if I alt alt drag this into a bin it's going to take these keyframes and do it without the source so what does that mean and I'll get another clip right here and again it's static but if I now I don't have to alt drag this on if I just drag this on without hitting anything it does that same exact move it basically took the keyframes onto this and it went there right so think about how fast that is now I don't have to set these keyframes I don't have to do this every time put the clip on make the keyframe make this 100 make this X rotation 10 I was able to save it in Avid as this 3d Mac key without a source that's the key and the other key is you drag it onto your next image you don't hit alt let's do another one so now again I have this pregnant woman all I do is drag this on top and now it has that move she's a little too high right it doesn't fit for her but here's another story with that and I'll alt, and just drag this on with no alt put the sound effect on it wow look at that move and you can see it here a little more clearly you see how that X rotation is growing as the piece grows it's some little movement you can see what's going on but it's not completely static and boring so to me this is like a nice way to do a, a split screen or a freeze frame in this case so hopefully that helps answer that question of and who's the father 
of how this image and little move and the whoosh and all that stuff was made please like comment subscribe do all that stuff and if you know someone that needs to learn avid because he's a premier editor and he really needs to learn avid tell him to go to avidbeer.com thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video